What a great idea to pass along that wisdom. Well, just last week, more than a thousand members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America gathered at Kalahari Resort in Sandusky for the 2014 Northwestern Ohio Synod Gathering. Also in attendance, several TV44 staff members, including Jennifer Beck. It was a weekend of fellowship, music, yes, water slides, and encouragement for all who took part. Jennifer talked with the bishop of the denomination, as well as several local pastors who had nothing but positive things to say. A really enjoyable weekend at Kalahari in Sandusky with the Northwestern Ohio Synod Gathering. Dr. Marcus Lorman is with me. Another uh, successful event. More than a thousand people here. Why is it so important to bring together pastors, lay ministers, people of the ELCA for an event like this? I think it does a couple things. One is that it helps the people who are here to realize that that this church is pretty big and involves lots of people with lots of different gifts. So with this particular event we combined our our annual assembly with an event bringing youth here for a servant event, with an event doing some discipleship training, uh, and with an event that was just for families, for fam uh, that was led by our uh, Lutheran camp staff. So it did a lot of things and I think I saw a lot of smiles. In the church as a whole, we hear a lot about the next generation not wanting to embrace the church. What What is the Senate doing to help combat that and bring these young people in, not just for the good of them, but that their hearts would desire to reach out and impact others? Well, I think there are a couple things that are, that are uh, important. One is simply acknowledging their presence. So I found myself struck by how uh, their being here and acknowledging them and interacting with them uh, they responded to that. So one of the humorous uh, things that the youth were doing is uh, in this little uh, game they're playing, they're all supposed to get a selfie with the bishop. So I'd have all of these teenagers running over to me and saying, hi, bishop, can I have a selfie with you? So it was a way of, and that would lead to conversation and engagement. So I think there are ways which we can acknowledge and, and uh, recognize our youth at the same time uh, not talk down to them. So, uh, so I think that those, those efforts are really important for congregations had more than a thousand people here so you certainly had an opportunity to impact many who are going to go back and do the same in their congregations but if there is one message you could send out to your entire synod through the television camera to encourage what would you want to say to them to, to step out and uh, show be the hands and feet of Jesus in what they do well I think our theme I can't resist going back to our theme for this year namely growing as disciples that it's critical for us each individually to grow in our relationship with Jesus and then number two to keep asking how are, how would God use us though how would the Holy Spirit use us to nurture other people in their faith as well and that can happen cross-generationally and cross-culturally and and those pieces I think are really important uh, for us to be the church in this center we keep talking about our vocation is to be a sign of God's inbreaking reign in Jesus shorthand when people see us they see Jesus that's our prayer well, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing TV44 to be a part of this event again. Always great to be able to do it. You're welcome. And lots of local pastors were a part of this event as well. And they, too, echo many of the bishop's comments as we come to being the hands and feet of Jesus in the region. I think this is just a wonderful place, and especially this year as we gather with young people and really young kids and older folks and a time to gather together to celebrate our faith and to do the business of the church, but to really share the witness of Jesus Christ with the people that are here and hopefully some people that are staying here that may not be from our group. When you're in a parish and a congregation, sometimes you can feel a sense of isolation and that you're just out there by yourself doing your thing. And it's a great reminder of how we're a part of a larger church and uh, and that we we have ministry that goes far beyond our congregations and that we're in partnership with that. You know, it is always good when the whole Northwestern Ohio Synod gets together. And one of the reasons for that is it's so easy as Christians to think of ourselves as individuals in one hand and also sometimes just to think of our own little church. And you know, those are both beautiful gifts of God. But the bigger gift is when we gather together. Our Lord speaks of the whole church gathering and really being the body of Christ in this world. And someday we look forward to that heavenly kingdom when all of God's people are together. So if we can get kind of a snapshot of what that might be like in a place like this, it really does the heart good, makes all the difference in the world.